Joseph. I want to tell you, right? This My girl is Joseph breaking news. is easily one of the best talents of any candidate that has emerged from within any political institution in this country within the last two decades. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Very capable, obviously connected to people, willing to serve. And you know, you can always this tell when Antigua people are willing to serve news. and when, from when they look money, you know. You miss them a little job. You see, look at his life example. Humble guy. You know where he worked um, years ago? You know, he was um, the Red director of Red Cross. Red Cross. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When a youngster like him would have taken on that kind of job mm -hmm. at that age, it tells you that he's a man who is dedicated to service, mm -hmm. to serve humanity. Mm -hmm. And the people this from rural West can feel him already, you know. Every time I speak to people in rural West, I have to tell you, you know, sometimes you have candidates and you ask people, boy, how things? They say, boy, it's going to be tough. Not one person that I have spoken to so far in rural West mm -hmm. has given me any negative, negative vibes about um, Michael Joseph. Mm -hmm. In fact, there are two this opposition members, well, news. supporters, I should say, Rad, who came to see me along with uh, Michael about two weeks ago, just before we went to China. <laughs> and one of them said, hey, nobody in the family, family ever vote for Michael, for a Labour Party, you know. <laughs> but Michael, my boy, I have to support him. Another one said, um, boy, he voted against um, Landell, um the previous election, this and boy, I'm going to drive him in the gale. News. But he said, boy, this time here, definitely Michael Joseph. Yeah. The guy's good. It's so... For me, giving him the opportunity to come to China and to see a government in performance um, at the, uh, you know, on the international stage, I felt it was important. And, and this is a type of confidence I have in his leadership too. <laughs> and why I chose him as a youngster, as a young leader within the Antigua and Barbie Labour Party, to make sure that we this start to Antigua groom breaking news. You know, the current generation to replace old people like me. And I keep telling those in the institution who all like me and older, I say, hey, y'all, no competition for me now. Our day is done. <laughs> and the young people like Michael and so on, if they have a leadership fight. contest, Michael, they have to fight, not me. Mm -hmm. And I believe that I have a leadership obligation this or responsibility to develop new talent for the Labour Party <laughs> to leave it stronger than I inherited it. And I can tell the Labour Party is getting stronger. PM, I think, you know, the way you described him, mm -hmm. but I think you forgot the single most important adjective is humility. Mm -hmm. The guy yeah, is extremely yeah. humble. That's correct. And that is what attracts me to him more than anything else, you know? Just yes, how the way he... But uh, other than his humility, mm -hmm. he's skilled, he's articulate, yeah. he is compassionate. To the Honourable Prime Minister and the members of his delegation for affording me the opportunity to be a part of this amazing delegation. I think that from uh, one um, young individual perspective, I think this is the kind of leadership that the country needs. This um, is a government who news. embraces young people as equals on the diplomatic forefront, understanding that they themselves are going to be a part of the change that our country needs. And if we um, aspire to learn from the lessons of President Xi Jinping, he understands that change in the future means involving everybody those that traditionally wouldn't have a voice but need to have a voice if we're going to continue because growth and this development is, is continuous. So thank you very, very much, um, Mr. Prime Minister. Taken away from this trip, I think it was, as everyone highlighted, a very, very successful trip. I think it's one that will leap the Antigua and Barbuda society into development that it needs. And this was mentioned, of course, by President Xi, where he commended the Prime Minister for the growth that we've seen, 8.2% growth. News. And both the Prime Minister and the President um, would have congratulated and showed appreciation to each individual for that growth. And President Xi himself indicating that China will always be a friend to support Antigua and Barbuda in this growth because this is what they, 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 they're trying to achieve globally. Again, I want to thank them. I think for the young people of this country, they should be very proud of the delegation that went this to China, I will tell you, even though there were 10 MOUs and agreements that were signed, the results are going to be far-reaching beyond these 10 agreements. I can tell you the Prime Minister was a huge advocate 
for young people, particularly with the Alibaba group, when we met with them, um, although there was a lot of intent signed for research, he was very vocal in stating that he wanted Alibaba to not only this is provide the, the, this opportunity news. for research, but he also wanted them to provide opportunities for young people, for them to be merchants on the Alibaba side, for them to be trained in e-commerce. And this was something that the Alibaba group said, yes, they're willing to do. And I'm excited to see what this will mean for our young people who are going more and more into these e-commerce business and to the Minister of Foreign Affairs, the Minister of Health. Again, they were really huge advocates. And I felt like an unseasoned diplomat who was given this the very same level of respect news. as each one of the members on the delegation. And this is what we need. So I commend again the Prime Minister, his cabinet, for the opportunity to be a part of this delegation and look forward to what this country will yield as a result of this diplomatic um, relationship that we would have tightened and, and further reinforced between us and the People's Republic of China. Thank you very much. This is Antigua Breaking News.